Your quivering heart may be sending you a message, and it has nothing to do with love. As many as 5 million Americans suffer from AFib, an irregular heartbeat that threatens their health. Oftentimes the first general clue that somebody has atrial fibrillation could be some catastrophic event like a stroke. It's estimated a third of people with atrial fibrillation will have a stroke in their lifetime. The irregular heartbeat leaves traces of blood within the heart chamber, increasing the risk of forming clots that could lead to stroke. Blood thinners are commonly used to discourage clotting, but in some people it's not enough. Where these veins connect into the upper chamber tends to be an area of complexity, and that tends to be where atrial fibrillation starts. An electrical disturbance gets the heart off beat. The only way to truly eliminate the problem is to redirect the current and interrupt AFib. Doctors use many methods. One of the newest techniques is cryoablation, which freezes the heart back into rhythm. It's a small balloon that we inflate through a catheter inside the upper chamber of the heart and we then push that balloon against the orifice of the vein, where the vein connects into the heart muscle. And then we actually can pump a liquid nitrogen compound into the balloon, which freezes the balloon, which disconnects the vein from the rest of the heart muscle. Other ablation techniques use radio frequency to burn the nerves, but the cryo approach is certainly the coolest method of interrupting AFib. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.